In this video, we will be going over upstream open reading frames. Here we have messenger RNA or mRNA. mRNA serves as a template for synthesis of polypeptides, the building blocks of proteins, and a process known as translation. mRNA translation is a highly regulated process and this regulation primarily occurs at the initiation stage. During translation initiation, a small ribosomal subunit known as 40S assembles at the mRNA 5' cap and scans the mRNA in a 5' to 3' direction until a start codon is encountered, usually AUG. This codon is a signal to begin translating the mRNA into a protein. The large ribosomal subunit 60S joins in with the small subunit, and together they begin translating the gene's coding region, often termed the open reading frame. The ribosome reads the mRNA sequence one codon at a time, synthesizing the protein until it reaches one out of three stop codons. The stop codon signifies the end of translation and the ribosome disengages from the mRNA. But what happens if the scanning ribosome encounters a start codon before it gets to the main coding sequence of the mRNA? This is known as an upstream open reading frame, or UORF. Some UORFs get translated and can regulate translation of the main coding sequence. Whether they get translated or not influences the likelihood of the main coding sequence being translated. If the scanning 40S fails to recognize the start codon of a UORF, it will continue to scan for the next start codon in an unobstructed manner. This is known as leaky scanning, and this will lead to normal translation of the gene's coding region. If the UORF start codon is recognized by the ribosome and the UORF gets translated, the large 60S subunit will fall off prematurely after finishing UORF peptide synthesis, but the small 40S ribosomal subunit may remain bound to the 5' leader and reinitiate translation at the main start codon of the gene. This is referred to as reinitiation and will lead to some translation of the gene. However, if both the small and large ribosomal subunits dissociate from the mRNA after translating the UORF, they cannot reinitiate at the main start codon. This is referred to as preemptive initiation. In this case, the main coding region does not get translated at all. In some cases, the ribosome may also stall at a UORF, which will block other incoming ribosomes or trigger mRNA degradation also preventing translation of the gene's main coding region. Whether the UORF start codon can serve as an initiation site depends on the mRNA sequence surrounding the AUG, as well as the tissue type, organism's developmental stage, and even environmental stressors. Thus, UORFs play an important role in the regulation of expression of genes and ultimately control the growth, development, and function of an organism. In most higher eukaryotes, including humans, mice, plants, and flies, 30 to 50% of all of our genes contain UORFs in their 5' leaders, so it is pertinent that we continue to study the mechanisms of UORF-mediated translation regulation. Thank you for listening.